Hey guys, a very warm welcome back. Once again, we're back with more Sunship content. As you may have heard on our last episode, this one is going to be all about oil production. Now, oils are one of the most difficult materials to produce at the moment in the game. And we've had a lot of feedback stating as much. So we want to be nice and clear with you today on how to produce these. And we're also going to be sharing with you our micro factory design that we're currently using to produce our oil. So hopefully that should solve any issues you're having with the production. So in case you don't already know, there's three different types of oil. You've got the crude oil in its most raw form, and you've also got the heavy oil and light oil that are produced in the chemical plant. So our design is quite flexible and you can produce all of these with the same design, which is really helpful, saves you a lot of space. And as we said, we're gonna be showing you exactly how to make that. So jumping straight in, let's get into our sandbox building. So in order to produce the oils, we're going to need steel barrel production and we're also going to be needing to produce the oil itself. So we're going to start this design off with the steel barrel element. A few of our more eagle-eyed viewers might recognize this steel element production from our gearbox design. So essentially we're starting off with our synthesizer on this right hand side, splitting it off, belting it around and then heating it up twice before splitting it once again into four different mixers. And this is going to be our carbon production so we need to change our synthesizer to that recipe now in order to get the iron part of this steel design in we're going to need two more synthesizers we're going to split this first one off we're going to place this one down at the top split this off and then heat the iron up before entering that mixer and we're going to do exactly the same for this second synthesizer just below heating up once again before entering the mixer now that is our steel set out and what we're going to do is we're going to place down presses at each of the exit points for the mixers once our presses are down we're going to then belt this round And because the steel is going to lose a lot of its heat as it travels, we're going to place down two heaters, one just after the middle here and then one just after the top before placing them both into the shaper and selecting the steel barrel recipe. Now with that, we're then going to belt the finished steel barrel productions down and then separately we're going to place them into two different appliers before exporting. Now the appliers are going to mix both the steel barrels and the oil once it's produced and then, then output the oil into our transit when it's finalised. So that forms the first half of the production here guys. The second half of the production is all about the oil. So in order to do this we need to get some water production first of all. So we've got two synthesizers left to use in this design. And we're going to place them down in this bottom right hand corner here. And these are going to feed these two chemical mixers like so. We're going to change this top synthesizer to hydrogen, change this bottom synthesizer to oxygen. So we've got our water production and I'm going to add some pipes to the two exit points here of the chemical mixers. So a key part of producing the oil is the algae production. So in order to do that, we need to place down some grower buildings. We're going to place down four on the right hand side here, two at the top, two at the bottom, making sure to select the recipe Otherwise, nothing's going to be produced. And then we're going to use two long grabbers at both the top and the bottom to export this algae onto the belt. Now, as for this left hand side output, the other element of the oil production is the steam element that goes directly into the compressor. So in order to do that, we need to use these boilers to heat up the water to a sufficient temperature, get the steam. So as you can see, we're putting two here and then we're going to put a compressor just at the end of this pipe. And as well as the two boilers, you also to get this to work, need to put down a heat gun and that will give you the correct temperature to start producing the oil. To try and get the most output out of this design, we're going to add another row of pipes slightly to the left of this, place down another heat gun and then another compressor. So now we've got our compressors to the correct temperature, we need to place down some grabbers to feed in the algae directly to them to start producing that oil. So in order to do that, place down our fast grabber on this right hand side compressor here. We're going to belt this algae production on the bottom of the design all the way across to the other side of the micro factory and place down another fast grabber so that can feed the algae directly into the left hand side compressor. So combining those two elements is going to produce the crude oil. Now this is where the design gets a little bit flexible because if you're wanting crude oil, you can stop right here and pipe this into the two appliers like so. Turn this on and as you can see, we're producing 1.67 crude oil 
with this design. Now that's a really good amount for your micro factory and it's something we do use. However, there are three types of oil here. So if your goal is to produce light and heavy oil, you can adapt this design. So removing the oil pipes, we're then gonna place down a chemical plant and then gonna select the recipe, light and heavy oil, and then simply put another oil pipe directly into the left-hand side applier and then turn it on. So as you can see, we're producing 0.64 of each heavy and light oil with this simple change here. So if you wanna produce one of the two, simply make that little change and you can produce them like so. If you wanna have two of these factories running at the same time, one for crude oil, one for light and heavy, that's absolutely fine as well. Now, if we take a look at the blueprint for this design, you can see that there isn't a great deal of cost associated with this high-end production. And again, the substance costs aren't massive as well, so you could maybe have a couple of these factories running at the same time. In terms of materials, the main concern would be the red gas tanks that are required for your heat guns. Now, you're going to need 500 of those per heat gun. So if you haven't checked out our gas tank design, we recommend having a look at that video and you'll start to produce those in no time at all. So what we're going to do now is save this design and get it into our micro factory. So here we are guys, in our micro factory, we're gonna place down our oil build, turn this on, and as you can see in our transit, those barrels filling up nice and fast. We're gonna have plenty to play with in absolutely no time at all. So we hope this design has helped you understand the oil production a bit more, and if you want to introduce this design onto your sand ship, we have no objections at all. Similarly, if you want to explore different designs and maybe improve on this, feel free to have a go yourselves. But we'll be back next time with more Sandship content. But until then, thanks for watching and bye-bye.